Well, hi everyone. Thanks for watching and it's so nice to have you here. I'm going to do a little video today on an analog vintage pedal that I've got here, which you can see here as the Boss Flanger. It's the BF2. This flanger pedal is probably one of the most popular flanger pedals in the last 20-30 years. It's been used on a lot of albums, but it's a 1980s Japanese made analog flanger pedal. The BF2, funnily enough, replaced the BF1 and uh, they became kind of that really famous flanger sound that we all know and love. So this pedal exists with the black knobs up the top. The later models, the models that were made in the later 80s or 90s, had white tops on these black knobs, but the original ones, like this one, has the black knobs. Some of the very early versions of this pedal were uh, actually pink, but purple was the one that it came to be known as. So it became called the Purple Pedal. This particular pedal has what they know as the TL022CP op amp. Later that uh, bit of component was replaced by a Sharp IR9022 op amp. Other than that, the circuit pretty much remained unchanged through its 20 year lifespan. The first one was made in 1980. The label was black and then later on it was changed to green in 1984. So if you see one with a green label on it, then you'll know it's one of the later models. Production then moved out of Japan to Taiwan in 1990. They kept the label color, but they reprinted it with a new country of origin. Okay, let's have a look on the bottom and see where this one was made. And you can see here this one was made in Japan. The ones made in the 90s and, and later were made in, as I said before, made in Taiwan. In 1994, the label then became orange. The CE2B is the only other pedal that had orange labels. Orange then became pink in July 1997 and the final change happened in 1999 when they had a dark grey label. So, let's have a little look at this. It's got manual, depth, rate and res. We've got the input output as standard pedal. It draws 15 milliamps, so low powered, an impedance input of 470 kilo ohms. Residential or sorry, residual noise is minus 95 dBU and recommended load impedance of 10 kilo ohms or greater. Now the delay time is 100 milliseconds to 16 seconds. So let's have a little listen to this pedal. Now this manual control here, let's listen to that. Let's add some delay to this.
patch. You can get some really interesting kind of effects with that delay and that short sort of envelope on the uh, on the synth there. All right, let's have a listen to it with a different sound. Without the delay. That bucket brigade delayed ship in that is just superb.
Well, there's the Boss Flange BF2 Vintage Analog Pedal from the 1980s. I hope you liked it. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you did, thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me a comment below, tell me what you did or didn't like. Ask me questions. Don't forget to subscribe, I've got some more pedals coming. Um, see you later.